This is David Dusek, Senior Writer for Golf Week Magazine. Welcome once again to the Toy Box Winner Circle. You know, Billy Horschel had three top tens in his last three starts before last week's Zurich Classic of New Orleans, where he finally broke through and won for the first time on the PGA Tour. Let me take you inside his bag and tell you some of the interesting things about his Ping Golf Clubs. Billy Horschel used a Ping G25 driver, 9.5 degrees, with a Mitsubishi Fubuki 63X shaft. His fairway woods were a pair of Ping G25s, a 15 and an 18 degree, with an Oban Kiyoshi 75X shafts. He used Ping S56 irons, a 3 through pitching iron, with Ping ZZ65 shafts. He had Ping Tour wedges with gorge grooves, a 52 bent to 53, and a 60 degree with True Temper Dynamic Gold S400 shafts. He also had a Ping Redwood Piper S putter, and Horschel used a Titleist Pro V1X golf ball for that victory at the uh, TPC of Louisiana. Let me tell you a little bit about the Ping G25 driver that uh, Billy Horschel used to win at the Zurich Classic. It's the biggest profile driver that Ping makes. It's 460 cc's and made out of titanium. It has a matte black finish that is anti-glare. It's very easy to look at. It really inspires a lot of confidence when you look down at it a dress because it looks just really, really big. It also has an adjustable hosel that allows you to change the loft by about a half a degree. So really we're talking about fine tuning perhaps for an especially cold day where the ball isn't going to fly or if you're playing in wet conditions, going up about a half a degree will allow you to increase the carry distance, maybe get a little bit more yardage. If it's a little blustery, going down about a half degree shouldn't change a whole lot but might keep the ball down so you get a little bit more roll and stay out of some of that wind. Ping more than almost any other company really encourages people to work with a professional custom fitter. Make sure that the club that you purchase fits your game and your swing. So there's not a lot of radical changes that you're going to make with the G25, but it packs a big punch, a lot of power. It's got a variable thickness face, which means it's slightly thicker in the middle and gets slightly thinner around the edges. That really helps you to maintain ball speed on slightly off-center hits, which is a good thing. You'll also find a Ping G25er in Bubba Watson's bag, although Bubba's looks at just a little bit different than Billy's. When it comes to irons, Billy Horschel is using Ping S56 irons. They're probably the most maneuverable iron that Ping really has in their current lineup right now, and they're pretty popular with other pros on the PGA Tour. What makes them unique is a couple of things. Number one, there's a series of stabilizing bars that run through the family, or, or through the set, I should say, and they get slightly thicker as you go from the um, long irons, where they're a little bit thin, to the short irons, where they're slightly thicker. And what that does is, is you progress it makes it slightly easier to hit a higher shot with the, the long irons, but that stabilizing bar as it gets thicker in the short irons helps it produce a slightly more penetrating, more piercing ball flight. And with mid irons and short irons especially, better players tend to like to flight the ball down just a little bit. It gives them a little bit more precision as they hit the ball into the greens. Um, the other thing is that there's a tungsten weight that's put out in the, uh, the toe section of uh, the S56, and that can help to sort of shift the um, the center of gravity a little bit. It also really helps to sort of pull the sweet spot more towards the center of the club um, where better players tend to hit it more often. It really allows Ping to sort of be very, very precise with the weighting on these uh, the S56 irons. Again, because they're so precise and because they're so maneuverable, you'll see all these irons in a lot of players' bag. Louis Oosthuizen has played them and how Cabrera has played them um, and a host of other players. Now the wedges that Billy Horschel is using, the Ping Tour wedge with gorge grooves is really interesting because when Ping actually gets these clubs from the manufacturer that sort of builds the club itself, they're blanks. Um, there, there are no grooves that, that are in these, these wedges. They come back to Ping you know, with, with no grooves in them. The grooves are actually milled in by Ping themselves in their facility in Phoenix, Arizona because the tolerances are so tight. The grooves themselves go right up against the USGA conforming limit and because of that, Ping wants to handle everything in-house. It's pretty interesting. Now, they come with three different soles. Um, there's a thin sole, a wide sole, and sort of a, a standard sole. So you really have a lot of options as far as taking a look at your divot patterns, the sand that you tend to play, and matching up a Ping Tour wedge with gorge grooves with the type of swing, sand, the weather conditions that you play most often, so you get the best bounce and the best sort of turf interaction. Thanks a lot for joining me inside the Winter Circle once again. This is David Dusick, and we'll see you next week.